simple topic where you'll get ample and ample of stuff to create. That is to say, even in your individual practice and in your speaking practice with a conversation party. So topic number 11 is what you had in the breakfast. Hello everybody, how are you all? Hope you're doing great. So welcome back to another session of learning English with me. And today I'm going to tell you something that's amazing, amazing. It's going to be an amazing lesson. Why? Because I'm going to tell you about 12 topics to speak English. 12 topics that you can use to practice English speaking alone, individual practice without a partner, or you can use it with a conversation buddy too. It's all up to you whether you're going to use these 12 topics for your individual speaking practice or you're going to use these 12 topics for a good conversation with a friend, with an English learning partner, with an English speaking buddy. Whatever you want, you can do that. So these 12 topics are versatile and they are great for you to know in order to practice your English speaking and improve your fluency. So are you ready for this? I'm Shivangi Gupta, your CELTA certified English language tutor and communication coach, certified by the University of Cambridge, the UK. And before beginning, please subscribe the channel so that you do not miss out on any video lesson. Also like the video and share it with your friends too. Coming back to today's lesson, that is the 12 English speaking topics. So I'm going to tell you the topics. I'm also going to give you some guidelines on which you can speak some points to follow while speaking so that you can speak for a longer time and you have lots and lots of content to speak. Let's begin with all the topics then. Okay, number one, your favorite board game. Topic number one is your favorite board game. Now, these all topics are actually quite interesting. Your favorite board game. I think you can say a lot about your favorite board game because everybody plays board games. You can talk about Ludo, you can talk about snake and ladders, you can talk about carom, you can talk about chess, you can talk about Uno, Monopoly, whatever, whichever is your favorite board game. So my favorite board game is Ludo. I love, love, love playing Ludo. That's my favorite board game. And what is your favorite board game? Why is it your favorite board game? You can also share some experience while playing a board game when you did something good, when you had good laughs with your friends, with your family while playing the board game. If you have good memories related to it, you can talk about that or you can say that if you're doing your individual practice. What you can do is you can add certain things that why do you think it's your favorite board game? Like why do you like it? And what color do you choose always? For example, I always choose color green, color green. And if color pink is available, <laughs> I always choose pink. So it's always pink or green, pink or green. That's what I choose. So what color do you choose? You can talk about all these things. Ample and ample of stuff to talk about. The next one now. Number two. Topic number two is music. Music. Now, music, it's not defined, just music. So you can talk about anything. What kinds of songs you like to listen to? What music do you like most? Is it jazz? Is it pop? Or do you like something soothing, something countryside? something cultural, what kind of music do you like to listen to? Whether it's going to be a soothing song for you or you want rock and pop song uh, to listen to. Do you listen to both the types of songs when you're in mood for something? What do you listen to when you're happy? What do you listen to? So you can talk about anything. You can talk about your favorite singer too. You can talk about your favorite songs. You can talk about the kind of music you like to listen to. So ample and ample of stuff to talk about to a partner. And even if you're doing your individual speaking practice, speak about everything that you want to. Maybe you can describe your song, your favorite song. Why do you love it so much? What kind of message the songs give? Or what kind of uh, like theme the song has? So you can describe it. You can talk about it. Talk about the music that you love. Topic number three. Topic number three is your favorite dessert. 
favorite dessert what's your favorite dessert now everybody loves dessert after having lunch dinner we all love to have dessert and in india we have a vast variety of dessert to have and even in international continental if you go to other cuisines you'll have dessert and i think dessert from around the world dessert is something that everyone likes whether it's the cakes and pastries the indian sweets delicacies or a croissant from france whatever kind of dessert it is it's always like i love desserts so do you love desserts what's your favorite dessert something that you cannot resist so you can talk about that or if you have more than one you can talk about that too if you have developed a new taste for a dessert for example you've tried something something new and now it's your favorite so you can do that so talk about your favorite dessert i'm sure that if you are talking to a conversation partner you'll have ample and ample of stuff to talk about you might find some similarities too and you might find something that's on the same ground so go take this topic up topic number 4 topic number 4 is weather now weather is a topic that is commonly used in small talks isn't it you talk about weather oh look at the weather today isn't it lovely that's too hot but the thing is that we do not talk about weather so much we just hint it with a sentence or a question and then we are like do we really need to talk about weather or what but yeah we can actually talk about weather it's the hot topic the most common topic of any conversation it's actually a conversation starter in most of the informal settings so you can take it up in your individual practice and the conversation partner practice too both So talk about it talk about the weather what it's like if you're online engaging and talking to a conversation partner which is sitting in some different area maybe a country different country so you can talk and compare weather like how it is at your side how it's at at the other person's side or if you are doing your individual speaking practice you can talk about the weather in general what it's like what kind of changes the weather is bringing in your life so Uh, what kind of effect the weather has on your day to day task daily task so are they affected or not do you love the weather are you liking this weather are you enjoying it or is it kind of creating some problems for example if it's raining too much you can say i love rain everything looks so clear but one problem is arising that i am restricted i'm not able to go out uh, and going out moving out doing your task outside the home is becoming a bit difficult due to this right so if it's too cold which is actually it's too cold if it's too cold you can talk about that what kind of changes it's going to bring to the life like what kind of changes you're going through and maybe you can talk about how it's affecting the clothes you're wearing or the tasks you're doing so literally it's too cold at my place it's too cold what about you how's the weather at your place let me know in the comment box below topic number 5 topic number 5 is are you a night or a morning person yes so are you a night person or a morning person what kind of person you are now this is something that you can talk about easily for example i am actually i was when i was a student i was a night person so i remember i used to wake up till late at night and i used to study at that time so i remember that was my comfort zone my comfortable time of studying because it used to be so quiet everything is quiet and i can study peacefully then as a working professional i became a morning person so i started waking up early early morning time was my favorite time of the day so it can be changed you know changes can occur in life so what kind of person you are so if you're a different person right now you can share about that just like me if you are a morning person share about that why you are a morning person why you were a night person before or why you are a night person now so what kind of person you are whether you're active and you are full of energy to do something in the morning hours or you can do your work peacefully during night why and what is the motivation behind it so talk about that topic number 6 topic number 6 is your fitness goals what are your fitness goals it can be whether you are uh, going to a gym whether you're doing yoga what kind of fitness goals you have decided for yourself because it's important to engage in some kind of like fitness activity so even if you're going for a walk that's your fitness goal that's your fitness regime that i have to go 
for a walk daily for 15 minutes maybe you do yoga in the morning that can be your fitness goal that i'm going to do yoga for next 30 days 40 days what is your goal tell about it if you're joining a gym membership you can talk about that so whatever kind of things you do in your life maybe aerobics uh, maybe you can be engaged in some kind of sports if you're going to a sport complex you're playing some sports you are playing football you're playing cricket that's also a form of fitness activity so i'm not saying that you have to go to a gym and only then you can speak about it whatever is your fitness activity talk about that that you have to describe and why do you like doing it what kind of relaxation it provides you how it relaxes you and what happens when you do it do you feel good so you have to tell about that too go take this topic up topic number seven topic number seven is the tv show that you're currently watching so what kind of TV show you're currently watching it can be anything so what kind of web series you're watching if you're watching a web series you can talk about that if you're watching web series in English that's great that's absolutely great even if it's in your native language I suggest you can talk about it in English not a problem if you are not watching anything right now like me I am not watching any kind of web series right now so the series or TV show that you watched recently, like before this particular time, you can talk about that. You can talk about that too. So talk about the kind of series you're watching, why you're watching it, what is so interesting about it, uh, what do you like about it. So you can talk a lot about it, a lot. Maybe if you have a conversation buddy, maybe the person is watching the same thing. Maybe both are watching a very famous web series at the same time. Who knows, right? Topic number eight. Topic number eight is your favorite sports. What's your favorite sports? So you have to talk about your favorite sports and why is it your favorite sport? So my favorite sport, that's badminton. I love playing badminton. So badminton is my favorite sport. And why? Because, yeah, it makes me feel good. When I play badminton, it's a good form of exercise to keep yourself fit. Plus, so when I play badminton, I play it because I'm good at it that's why it can be your favorite sport so what is your favorite sport how did you find your love for playing that particular sport you can talk about that and when do you play it do you play it often or not so you can talk about it you can talk about that so I used to play it quite often when I was in college now I play it from time to time yes not that much but I found my love for playing badminton when I was in school Right? So you can talk about these things in this manner. Go talk about your favorite sport. I'm sure you must have some kind of favorite sport. Everybody has a favorite sport. Because when we are in school, we love sports period. I remember that everybody used to wait for the sports period with such enthusiasm. So you must have some kind of favorite sport. Topic number nine is your daily routine. Topic number nine is a very simple topic, your daily routine. So you can talk about so many things when it comes to your daily routine. Like there are endless possibilities to speak on this particular topic. You can discuss, discuss and discuss what is your daily routine, what do you do. So if you start from morning, right in the morning and start describing your day in details, I'm sure you're going to speak for at least five to ten minutes, believe me. So start from morning and start describing your day. What do you do in your day, in a particular day? Or you can describe a particular day too. For example, what was your daily routine like on that particular day, right? So take this topic up. A simple topic which has lots and lots of, lots and lots of uh, like opportunity to speak. Believe me, it does. Topic number 10 is your dream house. A dream house what this dream house would look like for you. It can be an imaginary house, an idle house of which you have created an image in your mind. It can be either that or it can be your own house. So your dream house can be your own house that you're living in or it can be something that you imagine, okay, it should have a big swimming pool, it should have this, it should have that. So you can do that. You can use your imagination, use your creativity, right? So you can do that. Or you can just describe your own house because we love 
the place we live at, isn't it? We love our home and you can just simply do that. You can describe your home too as your dream house. So describe it in details. I'm sure you're going to have ample and ample of stuff to talk about on this particular topic. Topic number 11 is what you had in the breakfast. No, that's the topic. I'm not asking you the question. What you had in the breakfast, that is the topic. So what you had in the breakfast. So you have to describe what you had in the breakfast. You can also describe why you had that particular thing in the breakfast. Usually, do you eat it? Or usually, you have something else in the breakfast. For example, you had uh, sandwiches in your breakfast. So do you usually you eat sandwiches? No. Then what do you eat in your breakfast? So you can talk about that. You can talk about it. So was it delicious? Do you want to eat something else? You can talk about anything related to this topic, breakfast. So ample and ample of stuff, I'm sure. Go take this topic up. Topic number 12, the last topic for today. And I'm going to keep it simple. That is your favorite celebrity. Your favorite celebrity. It can be anybody celebrity so it can be a sports person it can be an actor it can be a, an entrepreneur it can be any personality big personality famous personality right so you can take up anybody anybody that's your favorite celebrity it can be why why he or she is your favorite celebrity so you can say that this person inspires me why he or she inspires you you can talk about that what qualities do you like of this person that he or she is your favorite celebrity you can talk about that so obviously you can talk about a lot of things about your favorite celebrity i'm sure about it so take this topic up we are going to end the session with a simple topic where you'll get ample and ample of stuff to create that is to say even in your individual practice and in your speaking practice with a conversation party. So both ways, this topic has lots and lots of stuff to say. So these are the 12 topics for today. So as discussed, you can take up all the topics and these are great topics, something different, something creative. So these are out of box topics that I've created for you personally. So I was thinking about what to talk on, what to say, which will up, keep you engaged like you would want to take that topic up because that's so interesting that's so different so these are different out of box topics for you that i've created just for you all take them up use them up as your individual practice or practice with a conversation buddy it's totally up to you and use these topics speak on them improve your english speaking skills and your fluency too so that's it that was the lesson for today now i'm gonna meet you next time in a new lesson till then everybody take care keep speaking keep practicing and bye